Hi, my name is Aaron Thomas. I'm from the Manchester Central Campus, and it's a pleasure to be sharing the devotional with you this morning. Um, I just pray it's a blessing to you, whether you're watching it in the morning, the afternoon, or the evening. I'm going to be reading from Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 to 17. And it's a small account between Moses um, and God, but it's also in conjunction with the relationship between Moses and Aaron. Moses and Aaron. So I'm going to read from Exodus chapter 4, verses 10 to 17. It reads, Moses said to the Lord, pardon your servant, Lord. I have never been eloquent, neither in the past nor since you've spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, who gave human beings their mouths? Who makes them deaf or mute? Who gives them sight or makes them blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go and I'll help you speak and will teach you what to say. But Moses said, pardon your servant. Lord, please send someone else. Then the Lord's anger burned against Moses and he said, What about your brother Aaron the Levite? I know he can speak well. He is already on his way to meet you. He will be glad to see you. You shall speak to him and put words in his mouth. I will help both of you speak and will teach you what to do. He will speak to the people for you and it will be as if he were your mouth and as if you were God to him. But take this staff in your hands so that you can perform the signs with it. I just love that account in scripture because Moses is really being really honest with God in that moment, in that, in that passage of scripture. He's like, pardon your servant. In other words, please just send somebody else. Can you get someone else to do this? You're, you're God. You don't really need me to do this because Moses is highlighting his... Um, inadequacies in things that he doesn't do well and sometimes we can be our worst critic at times but what the Lord is reminding him in that moment is number one I'm God I'm in control and number two I'm going to send you help the beauty of God is and not only just that he gives us his word but one of the other great blessings that he gives us is people and relationships and it's in that moment where the Lord presents and, and identifies and goes Moses by the way you know Aaron's on his way to you um, he can help you along the journey of fulfilling what I've called you to do and I just want to encourage you with two or three thoughts really in relation to that that passage number one don't always highlight the things that you can't do number two edify the word of God more than your your necessarily your inadequacies or or things that you think you don't do well and number three is know that god is sending the solution to your problem in a way that you may not have necessarily identified or saw before and the beauty of it is and even in, in the chapter 4 verses 10 17 aaron was actually on his way to moses at the time where the lord then answered a problem that Moses presented to um, the Lord as to why he couldn't do something. God presents his word, but he also presents relationships. And I want to encourage you on the journey, whether you're Moses today and you're feeling like, I haven't got anything to give to you right now, Lord. Send somebody else. I want to encourage you that take an inventory of the people around you because it was only when the Lord revealed to Moses that Aaron was available and Aaron was there that I'm, I'm assuming that Moses' posture would have changed to like, okay, I don't have to do this all by myself. And as we walk along the journey of life, we all need other people to help us on, along the way. And we're, we're not called to be um, isolated, not called to be an island in of ourselves. And anything that God has designed for us to do, um, he, it's going to require the help of others as well. Or you may be, in a place where you're feeling like, yeah, I'm kind of good, I'm doing well right now. You may be the Aaron to a Moses. So your gifts and your talents might be a, a blessing to somebody else's prayer or, or conundrum as to why they can possibly not do something that the Lord has called them to do. So I just love that passage because Moses is honest. He's, he's really, really clear in, in telling God what he feels he's not good at. But he's also reminded by God that help is around you. So I'll, like I say, I want to encourage you, 
take an inventory of the people around you and do not you might think that's all oh, they're, they're insignificant or they may not be the the answer to my problem but how was moses to know that aaron was the solution to his problem until god revealed it so i pray that the holy spirit will reveal relationships that you have around you now in your life that will aid you along your journey of fulfilling the god-given purpose and plans that he's placed upon your life thank you for listening to me and i'll encourage you to read exodus and that whole passage of scripture in relation to moses and aaron's relationship aaron wasn't perfect um, and sometimes we have to understand that people that God calls us to come alongside are not perfect, but we need each other. I need you. You need me. We are the body of Christ and we need each other. God bless you. Take care.